Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a PR haul. All of the beauty products I've recently received in the mail. There's a couple new releases here that I'm pretty excited about. My name is Chelsea, if we've never met before, and I make new videos weekly on fashion, beauty, and travel. However, during the month of October, I am participating in Vlogtober, so you'll see new videos from me Monday through Friday, every single weekday this month. So I hope you subscribe down below, and without further ado, let's get in to the new in beauty. First up, I want to share some items from a brand called Kaja. This is brand new and exclusive to Sephora. They just launched at the end of September, and they're from the makers of Mimi Box. So it's a brand new K-Beauty inspired line. So first up, I want to start off with their lip products. This is the Cushy Vibe Lip Stain, and these are, in my opinion, more similar to a moussey liquid lipstick. This red is what I'm wearing today, and I really do like it. The applicator is really easy to use. The color is fully pigmented in one swipe. It is long wearing, however, it's not totally kiss proof, um, but it does last a really long time and it definitely stains the lips. So this is a lip product you can keep with you in your bag, reapply throughout the day, and it's not gonna get crusty or flaky. It's pretty moussey, so it has a really comfortable formula and texture. So the red I'm wearing today is called Satin Sheets, and this is my new go to blue tone red. It has replaced my Smashbox Lily Singh Always on Lip Lip Lipstick in Boss, which is saying a lot. So I really do like this and again satin sheets is the color I'm wearing today. The other two shades are Silk Robe and Cashmere. Let me just swatch these for you guys so you can see the texture. You can see it's like really moussey and creamy and cashmere. So very pretty fall tones. These are going to be really complimentary on any skin tone. I feel like they're just so beautiful, plush, moussey, pigmented, and they last quite a bit, and they're really comfortable. So those lip products are 18 bucks. Next up are these really cute glitter eyeshadow trios. These are called the Beauty Bento. They retail for $21, and the one I've been using the most lately is called Rose Water. My last sit-down video, you can see this on my eyes. It is so so stunning. These are going to be best applied with your finger and not necessarily a brush. There are the colors. There they are in my hand. High shimmer, high shine. If you wear these out at night, I promise you everybody's going to be looking at your eyes and asking what you have on. Oh, so the second trio is going to be Orange Blossom. That's this one, and that is so pretty. So I can't wait to try those out some more. I've been getting back into glitter shimmer shadows lately, and I've been loving it. So that's something I would typically wear either for a night out on the town or for filming a video because they are just so stunning. Kaja also has these cream to powder finish highlighters. These are the Mochi Glow highlighters. This is in Luna. This is in Toy Alien. And these retail for $19. You're going to want to use these with a finger and not a brush. But they kind of give you that barely there um, pretty, pretty glow. So while these aren't like super blinding, they are buildable and they can kind of give you that effect. So I think these are really versatile and perfect for your handbag. So last up from Kaja Beauty is this super adorable cream blush cushion. This is called the Cheeky Stamp and it's a beautiful buildable blush. This is kind of in a rosy mauve tone. There is a heart shaped stamp inside. You press it into the cushion and let's see, you stamp it on your skin. So this is going to give you like a natural looking blush look, very sheer, very buildable. So I'm going to be tossing the shades um, that I'm not using in a future giveaway. So subscribe down below uh, so you can stay updated on that. So that's kind of a quick overview of some new stuff from Kaja Beauty. And just to quickly recap, this is what's on my lips today. Love it. And this was in one of my last videos. You can see it on my eyes in action. All right, next up I received this stunning mailer from Elemis. And this is their limited edition Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm. I love this product, but this is a limited edition set I'm super excited to share. So regardless of the sales of this limited edition product, 25,000 pounds will go to breast cancer care and 25,000 US dollars will go to the pink agenda. First and foremost, I feel like I can already smell the rose and this thing is closed. Second of all, this is like double the size of the normal cleansing balm packaging. If you've never tried this product before, it's an extremely luxurious, thick cleansing balm. It feels so nourishing on the skin. It comes with a tiny spatula and a muslin cloth, so you have the full-on kit here. And if you wear a lot of makeup like I do, you really need to invest in a really good makeup remover to kind of get it all off at the end of the day. I'm really excited to try the new rose scent. I already know I love the formula of this product and it's so awesome that they're supporting a great cause. Next up, I have some goodies from Fresh. So Fresh has just launched this brand new Eau de Parfum. This is the Rose Morning Fragrance. This is a 30 ml size, one fluid ounce. 
Here's the packaging. It is so cute. And so this fragrance is said to be inspired by a rose blooming in the morning sun. The scent is dewy, petal light expression of the iconic flower. Oh my god, that is lovely. It's a rose petal scent, but it's got a little bit of sweetness to it. Kind of like less of a granny rose and more of like a jasmine light fresh rose. It's interesting because I don't typically wear a lot of floral based fragrances in the fall and winter. I much prefer something like warm and woodsy and like sexy sultry kind of thing, but this is really nice. So definitely looking forward to trying that out some more. They also sent me a roller ball and then two minis of the Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. Love this. I mentioned this in my April favorites and the Rose Floral Toner. How is this different? Okay, so this is supposed to be a more hydrating one, and this one's more soothing. I am partial to rose. It is my favorite flower, so I already knew I was going to love this when I opened it up. Between this and the Elemis package, I am all set on rose stuff. I've got some rose toner, some cleansing balm, and some fragrance to go with it. So looking forward to trying this out some more. Last up, I want to mention a couple products from Avon. They sent me over this Lash Serum and Mascara Duo, and they call this their perfect pair. So this is called the A New Clinical Unlimited Lashes Lash and Brow Activating Serum. This retails for $60, and you apply this only once a day. So this is supposed to have an award-winning blend of nourishing peptides, botanicals, uh, that will stimulate hair growth and volume in the lashes and improve eyelash density, supporting natural keratin production and delivering a lush, longer looking lash. This product is also ophthalmologist tested, which is very encouraging with any product you're putting around the eyes. It says 84% of women agreed that lashes looked longer and fuller after eight weeks of use. I've never really committed to using a product like this, but it's definitely something I want to put to the test for you guys. Eyelashes are one of my favorite features to emphasize with makeup and beauty products. So if I can enhance the natural health and fullness of my lashes, I'm going to do it. So definitely excited to put this to the test. And the other product in this duo is the True Color Love at First Lash Mascara. So it's supposed to have heart-shaped lash-hugging fibers to create instant volume and dramatic length. I always look for a volume in my mascaras, so I'm definitely excited to see if this, you know, holds a candle to some of my other favorites. So this is formulated with lycopene, olive oil, and vitamin E to help condition and strengthen your lashes. So that is that. Let me know in a comment down below if you've tried any products from Avon, if you have any favorites. Let me know because it's a totally new thing to me. All right, you guys, so that's a wrap for today's haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. If any of these products piqued your interest, check the description box down below for shoppable links. And again, as I mentioned before, I'm doing new videos five days a week in the month of October for Vlogtober, so I hope you'll subscribe down below. I am doing a mix of sit-down videos and vlogs all around fashion, beauty, and travel, and some tech and some lifestyle, so you want to subscribe so you don't miss any future uploads. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are, and I'll see you very soon in my next one.